Hi sweet souls, welcome back to my channel. Today we're unboxing the Goose Tarot Nebula Edition. Really cool. Comes in a magnetic box, but I just wanted to mention I have the original Goose Tarot um, by the same creators. I just don't know if you can get this. It doesn't look like you can, but on the back of the box there is a code that you can scan to take you to the, I think, creator's Facebook, so maybe you can find out more information there. But here it says the Goose Tarot Nebula. Goose Tarot that comes in the Nebula theme. The main point is stars and skies. This deck will have only goose wherever you go. There will always be goose. <laughs> because the goose already dominate the world. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> so unserious. <laughs> it's a really cute box. I love the color scheme as well. Oh! It's very pretty. <laughs> but it does come, this one does come with a guidebook. We'll get into that. But the original Goose Tarot doesn't. Right off the bat, it comes with a beautiful gilding. You can see that. Wow, right? Very pretty. Very lovely. Yeah. The backs are nice. It is, oh, it's one of those kinds of gilding where you get glitter on your hands. I don't know if you can tell if it's one of those where you get glitter stuck on your hands. Not my favorite, but it's pretty. <laughs> oh, and the cardstock is super thin. It's just like the original Goose Tarot. I was gonna mention, I'll do a walkthrough first of the original Goose Tarot, and then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'll have those all per usual in the timestamps. If you wanna check that out, let's just get right in. It is same cardstock, except as the Goose Tarot, except this one has gilding. Or, yeah, gilding. <laughs> but yeah, you can totally bend them. Let me just, there you go. You can totally bend them. You're totally fine. They will bend back. They're very flexible cards. These ones are interesting. They got a whole like upgrade too. And it comes with a, it tells you that that's wands, king of wands. But with the whole goose theme. Yeah, I will do the comparison later. But I just like of all the cards side by side. So I'll have to put this in order. But I just wanted to show you like, have just a quick comparison if you don't want to watch that, but yeah. Here's the original Goose Tear on the Goose Tear and Nebula. Right off the bat, I will say this one feels like more structured than this one. And it just feels upgraded for sure, like you can see with all the fancy balls, all the foil, and just this one's more blown up, whereas this one's a little bit more contained. So yeah. I will do a comparison afterwards. And we'll just go, ooh, we'll just go through each one of the cards since I myself also have not seen any of the cards. Oops. They're just a little stuck because they're new. There we go. Ten of Wands. So they all have wands up here. And they're classic like Rider weight depictions. Ooh, this is so cool. Look at that, right? That's sick. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that they're thin for this particular deck. I feel like... I don't know, actually. <laughs> I feel like some decks are... I don't like that they're thin, but this one like works. I feel like because it's not too thin, it's like has a nice card stock to it. Um, they move... they're not like entirely matte matte. They have like some kind of finish to them. But they're they're pretty flimsy. <laughs> they're like pretty thin. Pretty they're pretty flexible. Oh. I feel like I'm rushing through it. I'm sorry. I feel I'm really excited to see them, but they also the backs are also reversible as you can tell. But they come with a nice little follow follow hollow foil <laughs> on the front and the back. I'm all over the place. They come <laughs> with a nice hollow foil on the back. Which is nice. Well, technically this would be the front, right? If you're thinking this is the back. That's something to think about. <laughs> but I really like the details. I think this also being like a follow, 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 foil hollow, um, the hollow foil. I feel like that would be nice too. Or do you think it'd be too much? I don't know. I like that the, there's lots of little foils everywhere. I 
think it's cute. I also like the art on this. I can't wait to see the comparison. I for sure can tell- oh, we're in the swords. <laughs> I can for sure tell that it's, um, well, definitely upgraded more than the original Goose Tarot. It has a nice, just overall, upgraded vibe to it. They are just ever so sticking together. Again, it's their Neo, but <laughs> so far I'm digging it. It's really nice. Yeah, I do think the gilding will come off though. The glitter gilding, I don't like that when it gets on your hands. But it's nice. Ooh, did I? Did I miss one? No, we're good. We're good. Ooh. Much more positive three of swords, right? Even though there's... Ooh, this is nice. That's what I was talking about, like, the fo the, fo the hollow graphics, the foil. I keep on calling it follow. I don't know why. <laughs> but I feel like it'd be really cool here. Or it might be too much, but I feel like for some it'd be really cool just to see that. But otherwise, it's still a sick deck, like very cool, magical, galaxy, nebula, cosmos. Totally cool. Would I pair this with Cosmic Guidance? I don't know. Cosmic Guidance is a little bit like, it is silver, but it is like cosmic -y. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to mull that over. I don't pair anything with the Goose Tarot. I just kind of use whatever I have in my rotation. But I'll have to think that over because I kind of want something similar vibe for this because look how just like how magical, celestial it is. I really like that. So I'm going to pair it with something like that. Even this, like, whoa, right? I feel like this is the case where it's like, even though there's not too much going on, it's, it's, it works very well because they have the stars and such going on. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I like it because it's really full. This one, I like it because it's not too full, but it's really shining, you know? Like it's radiant, very beautiful. And the cups now. This is cute. It reminds me of Kirby. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, I just get, I feel like, really good vibes from, like, both of the decks I just unboxed, too. Like the Joyful World Tarot. And the, this one, the Goose Nebula Tarot. Goose Tarot Nebula. My bad. <laughs> And it just gives you like positive vibes. Like when you use it, you like are happy about it. I don't know if you're happy about the messages, but it's nice to look at. It also kind of reminds me like this one, just a bit of the Capybara Tarot, just ever so slightly. Because it has that animal vibe, but it's very cute, you know? And the card stuff kind of reminds me of that too, just a bit. I really like the tones. You don't see like these kind of colors in tarot decks often, so it's a nice, nice change. Ooh, the world, very cute. Oh, I was gonna say, this is kind of similar to the backs of this just a bit, <laughs> isn't it? Just a tiny bit, yeah. Yeah, we're now we're into the majors. Sun. We have the moon, very cute. Oh, very pretty. <laughs> I like that. I like that even with the goose tarot, they have a lot of personality. So I really like that they have that personality there. 
really cute. <laughs> so even though it's pretty simple, I like, like the vibes are very nice. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, the majors are very simplistic compared to the minors. That's interesting for the first, I feel like for one of the first times I've noticed, the majors are a little bit more tame compared to the, oh my god, Rainbow Road, <laughs> compared to the minor arcana lovers. That's cute. Oh, Harfin. We have the Emperor. Actually, I think there's a typo. <laughs> this is um it's supposed to be I uh, IV, not VI, because VI is six, IV is four. So there's a little typo. I have to go back and see. There's any more. I didn't pay attention to that until just now. Ooh, this is very pretty. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> just a little mix up there. It's not a big deal to me because I I can read the tarot, but if you're a beginner you might get confused. So that was a good catch. Wow. That's very cute. I love that. This is the Goose Tarot Nebula. Now I'm just gonna go in again and we're gonna do with the Goose Tarot. I don't know if this will actually make it into the video because then I thought about it and I was like, is there any point to really doing that? But I don't know. Maybe it's helpful, maybe it's not to do a comparison, but they are. A little I feel like they've taken it and they've made it a bit like just like I was saying before improved like the pictures are clear it's definitely like <laughs> definitely has the Cosmo vibes but it's very nice it's just a bit more upgraded and you can definitely like see everything a little bit better so it is a good upgrade, I will say. Hopefully they're all in order. I'm just flipping them. Hopefully they're... You can see that. Hopefully they're straight. You can see them. But yeah, maybe if you can... Maybe you like the original Goose Tarot, you can track it down somewhere. Maybe the author will print it again. Which is weird, I don't know why the author doesn't have their, like, name on the deck. <laughs> if I made a deck, I'd want my name on it. <laughs> but yeah. It's overall... They're, they're similar but different. <laughs> like, even here, they're similar but different. So it's definitely, in my opinion, worth the... Worth the change. Worth getting. I like it so far. We haven't done a shuffle and we haven't read the guidebook as well. That'll be interesting. Yeah, even the details are a bit different here too. I was saying like the details on the majors and the minors are a bit different. Like this one definitely has Rider Waite depictions. But this one has its own like kind of nebula theme. So that's really interesting. But overall, solid changes. I will say it's a bit more, more cosmic-y, more celestial vibes. Definitely. A bit more like a subtle, like, I don't want to say simple because it's very like pretty and nice and the illustrations have their details, but it's a little bit more subdued than this one. 
And this one has like a little smaller window. But the changes are nice. I like the vibe of the deck. Of both decks, they're very nice. That's cute. <laughs> Cute. Definitely touches the Cosmic Nebula vibe. I'd love to see more like, Cosmic Nebula decks. I'm gonna look those up because I'm gonna try to find the Cosmic deck for the Oracle deck for the Kustero Nebula. I really like this one too. This is cute. <laughs> well, they're growing up a bit. <laughs> they're still under the devil's rule. That's cute. There we go. Yeah. Maybe it was redundant to do them both. I don't know. That's why I kind of filmed them like separate because I wasn't sure if people can still get this one. So for anybody curious, here are the comparisons. This is a nice card. <laughs> the Emperor, yeah, there's a just a minor blip there. With the Emperor. It's supposed to be Ivy, not V I. And I hope that was the only one. That's the only one I remembered when I was doing it originally. This is really sick. And there we go. Goose Tarot and the Goose Tarot Nebula. Very nice decks. Yeah, and this one feels like papery. Not too papery, but like it feels like card stuck, like paper card stuck. And this one has like a, a little bit of structure to it. Yeah, they definitely. This one feels a bit chunkier, <laughs> like in the deck. Whereas this one feels a little bit more structured. But yeah, let's get into the shuffle. And then we'll get a card and read from the guidebook. Hopefully it goes well. They're, they do stick a bit. Okay, not too, yeah. Goes in well. Not too shabby. Yeah, they're great. Going very well. I think we did a bend test. I've been modifying my bend test to not ruin the cards, but there we go. The Knight of Pentacles. Let's go and see what that's about in the guidebook. I think I left it over here. There we go. Just your regular schmegular paper book. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Wow. This would have been nice as like a card, you know, like one of its own. This is nice. It's very cute. I don't know if the I don't know if it's appropriate to show the guidebook, but here is the table of contents, and then here we just have about us. The goose tarot is a very small print, but I hope you can see. Here it says the goose tarot is a deck with its own story, portraying the fool's adventurous journey in the form of a goose. In the Go nebula deck. It appears with a celestial theme of stars and skies. If this is your first card set you are interested in learning divination, this guide will help you with the basics. For more in-depth study, we recommend exploring guides with more detailed information. Finally, we hope you enjoy and have fun with the goose in this card set. If you have any questions or need to inquire about anything, you can contact us on our Facebook page, Goose Tarot. Greatly appreciate your support for this card set. Thank you for backing us up. I didn't know that. <laughs> but yeah, you can contact them if you like. And here it just says about the tarot. It just goes in to what it is. I'll just leave it there. But yeah, it goes into what the major minor arcana is. And then we have the major arcana. So I'm just going to show the majors. Then we'll get into the Knight of Pentacles afterwards. But I'm just going to show 
it has all the cards there which is actually very nice that's a nice little touch and it has the each card here it has oh it has wow that's actually something you don't see all every day but it's really small print it has the love career and finances does it have reverse meanings? We'll see. This card is the card of beginnings and adventures representing free love without ties. You follow your dreams even if you encounter challenges. You always follow what you love. Then it has the love, fun, loving, adventurous, and loves freedom. Career, starting a new business venture, boldly stepping into some, something one loves. Finances, spending money on leisure and traveling, following one's own desires. That's interesting. That's actually pretty neat. I like that very simple meaning and also there's no reverse meanings which is okay if you don't you know if you're a beginner and you just want to read a upright you should probably learn upright first but <laughs> uh, however you like to learn it's how you like to learn but yes this deck doesn't have reversals so we'll go look into the knight of pentacles see what that's about but so far i like it very simple straight to the point and it does a good job oh, and here we have the knight of pentacles and then I also just have the cups here too, so it really goes then. We have the knight. It's kind of small, but I'll bring it up here. It's a little small. There we go. Hopefully you can see. I think you can. Have innovative ideas. Brave to take risks. Work diligently and conscientiously. Plan calmly. Perform routine tasks consistently. And then it has the love career finances. So a stable relationship, faithful to the partner. Know how to plan, work skillfully, finances, received, reward, rewarding returns. <laughs> that was a mouthful. That had three R's in it. Received, rewarding, re say that three times fast. <laughs> received, rewarding returns. Wow, that was a tongue <laughs> for at least for me. It's a tongue twister, but very cool. I do like me. I like the book. It's actually very nice and very solid. I do wish the Goose Tarot came with one too. I don't think there's anything else. I think that's it, yeah. But overall, pretty solid deck. I like it a lot. I think overall it's very good. It has great, as you probably, hopefully you've seen the walkthrough, but it's like the most important part of it. It is such a nice deck. It has great cosmic kind of nebula vibes. It really delivers, I think so. It really delivers and it is an upgraded quality of cards it feels good it's not entirely like it's not matte it's definitely card stock i don't know if i mentioned that but it definitely is it's the same kind of flexibility but it's still good it's a good quality deck it'll definitely last you a while if you are careful with your cards i mean when they cost as much as they do i would hope you Take care of them. Overall, really cute solid deck. Even looking at them now. How cool. It's like radiating light. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it really does show like radi <laughs> radiating the light beams, the cosmos. Right? Just look at that. Very nice. Very cute. Yeah. Let me know what you think and what other, like if you have an oracle deck that has like this kind of vibe, do let me know because I'd like to know and if i find out i will let you know as well thank you so much for watching i can subscribe if you like and i'll catch you in the next one